Introducing the new and improved BNA Bank mobile app. From setting transaction alerts and tracking your spending habits, to managing travel plans and turning off a lost or stolen debit card, you can take care of all of it in the new BNA mobile app. At BNA Bank, we know that life moves pretty fast, and we have the mobile technology to keep up with your life on the go. BNA Bank, local, invested, modern banking. Talk of Champions, Short Sessions. Long story short. Happy Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. This is another edition of Talk of Champions, Short Sessions. I'm Ben Garrett at Spirit Ben on Twitter. And joining me today, Ole Miss basketball forward, Jamin Brakefield. Before we jump to Jamin, if you haven't already subscribed, review Talk of Champions in iTunes. And when you do, leave a five-star review. It doesn't matter what you say as long as it's five stars. And it's Texas A&M week for Ole Miss football. And that means a special at the Ole Miss Spirit, the website that I write for, omspirit.com and affiliate of on three. You can sign up today for the very low cost of $1. Just a dollar. Like the dollar menu at McDonald's, that kind of dollar. And we'll have full coverage of Ole Miss's showdown with Texas A&M on Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time on ESPN, as well as recruiting, visitors for the weekend, and then Ole Miss basketball opening the 2023-24 season against Alabama State November 6th at 7 p.m. Central Time. And sure to be in the starting lineup, I would assume, is Jamin Brakefield. Senior Ole Miss forward, third year at Ole Miss. Can you believe it? Jamin, what's going on, man? Man, I'm blessed, man. It's crazy, ain't it? Senior already. Is it weird for you being the old head now in the room? Nah, man. It's been it's been a great ride, man. It's been a great ride. What do you like about this team? What's kind of sticking out to you right now in practice? Man, I love it. I love the guys, man. Obviously, um, I was able to have my foot in that process throughout the spring and summer. So it was great uh, just connecting with guys as they come on a visit. Um, so just being able to build those relationships and kind of give give coach feedback on how I feel about players and how I feel about their game it was wonderful. I mean, obviously that makes things better when they come and, and we all join as one. So, I mean, it's been great. Um, every, guy, every guy that's came in, you know, I've been able to sit down with them, build a relationship, and it's been good. Um, just over the course of the month, just building that time with each other has been great. We were talking to Beard recently. I think it was earlier earlier last week, and he mentioned how during the recruitment process, like you said, man, you were just so huge, instrumental, an ace recruiter for him, and he's thanked you publicly, privately, over and over again. He said he'll continue to. What kind of led to that for you? Because, I mean, first you had to make your own kind of decision, right? And uh once you make that decision and Chris Beard kind of convinces you to come back, what kind of led into all that, wanting to be a part of that and kind of uh, giving your opinion or being a part of the process in such an instrumental way? I mean, it's an, it's an important piece. Um, obviously, I'm trying to build something here myself. I'm trying to win, um, and I'm trying to have a great year I'm with a great group of guys. So just recruiting guys that uh, were having my foot in, in the recruitment process with guys that, uh, you know, have beliefs that I believe in, um, and, and and have no, you know, people that guys that like to work and guys who like to win, um, and just guys who fit the culture that coach is trying to build. Um, obviously, he he introduced that introduced that to me uh, when I first got here. So man, I just try to um, defend it um, when I was introduced to the guys, and, and I know that we brought a, a great group of guys around us. Well, it's interesting to me, too, because like I said, I mean, you were part of that process three years ago when Ole Miss was trying to get you here from Duke. So to uh, then face that possibility of leaving again, what really was the calling card for you? I mean, what about Chris Beard and y'all's conversations convinced you like, man, this is I got to see this out, man. I got to play for this guy. Man, no, not, no doubt. Just knowing, um, talking to other coaches um, and just knowing the passion that he has to win, um, knowing his his process, how it's been, um, and really just talking to other players around the country that's played for him, his past and, and, and present former players, so it's been good. Uh, you know, like I said, just to pitch with the whole culture thing, man, I'm, that was my thing, just to live day and night to try to defend it, and that's what I'm trying to do now. Was the culture just not there last year? Was that the biggest problem? For sure. It was just, I'll probably say it was, it was just a lot of, not everybody was disciplined. Uh, even on my part, I didn't hold people accountable like I should have. Um, but now I just use that to, to look forward for this year uh, where I can keep guys at a certain level of intensity. Can you tell that your efforts, that Chris Beard's recruiting efforts, they've paid off? When you look around, does this look like a different team? 
hundred percent. You can feel it on and off the court. Um, and like I said, it's just a great group of guys uh, ready to work and really just great in the community as well. I've always wondered this. How close did you come out of high school to going to Ole Miss? Because that was like a big Ole Miss story. I've been covering you for like five years now, Jamie. Yeah, it was, nah, it was real, real close. I mean, obviously, I mean, I told my parents and my, and my brothers and all of them from the jump I wanted to go to Ole Miss after my, my visit. I mean, just coming to Oxford right away, was it kind of shocked me a little bit because um, it was probably like my second or third time coming up um, ever to Oxford on my visit. So it kind of it kind of put something in me that I wanted to come here. Obviously, I chose a different route, but I'm just glad to be back. Where have you seen Ole Miss basketball, how it's grown, the popularity, and, and really the excitement from where you started once you finally did decide to come to now with Chris Beard and seeing the excitement around town? It's got to be a marketed difference for you. Yeah, it's been crazy, man. Really just, I mean, I'll probably say from when I first got here um, and either even from last year, just seeing the, the city grow with athletics in general. Uh, you know, we won championship with baseball, got to witness that. And just doing some of the great things around uh, athletics. You see Coach Yo doing her thing on that side, but being out in the in community this year, just hearing it and seeing how excited the, the fans are. I mean, everybody's telling me this is the most excited they ever been for basketball at Ole Miss. So I'm, I'm ready to give them what they're looking for. What of all the transfers? I know you're going to say every one of them because you're a vet and you're a leader and all that. But uh, who's really kind of balling out right now? Who's sticking out to you? I'll probably say somebody who who I've known um, throughout my recruitment in high school, obviously. Um, Auburn was another another school I was looking at. So being knowing Al for many years um, and seeing his growth over the year, obviously had his his injury. I think it was his sophomore year. And then just coming back from that, um, I've seen his growth and and his approach um, with just being here. I mean, he loves being in Oxford. um, And just seeing him on the court, he's continued to grow. um, And he's been a dog for us. Um, Brandon, Brandon and Musa, um, they've been dogs, man. They, Musa, I've known him since middle school, high school. So just seeing him grow, um, and just he's such a big presence, and I, I can't wait for him to get out there with me. Um, Brandon, he's so gifted. Um, I've been watching him ever since I was in college, following up with him. I mean, he, I mean, he's a gifted scorer. He's real athletic. A lot of he's big body, so he can play off position. Um, Juju. I mean, I've known Juju for a little while, and then he's a little younger, but he he got big shoes to fill. So I'm I'm glad to see him put in this position, and I, and I know he's gonna excel in that position. So I can't wait. We've all been there before. A weekend trip to the casino canceled because real life came calling. Well, my bookie's new and improved online casino is here to change the game. Dive into a truly realistic casino experience featuring the latest in slots, progressive jackpots, and live dealer action all from the comfort of your own home. Take advantage of weekly blackjack tournaments and a brand new collection of high-end games for a chance at real cash rewards. The MyBookie Casino provides a Las Vegas experience when the action's in your hands. And the best part is you don't even need to wear pants. Your adventure at the MyBookie Casino begins today with a generous sign-up bonus using promo code TOC for Talk of Champions, TOC. That's promo code TOC to secure yourself a sweet deposit bonus. And that's not all, because their revamped loyalty program ensures that you'll be showered with rewards, including free spins, cashback offers, and a host of exclusive VIP perks. The more you play, the more you win. Play anytime, anywhere with the MyBookie Casino. And make sure to check out MyBookie for all your gaming needs at www.mybookie.ag. That's www.mybookie.ag. That's the trippy thing about college sports in general in 2023. Like old days, we'd be looking at the numbers and like only four returners from last year's team. But all of these guys, like you said, with the AAU circuit, recruiting, like top 100 recruits, all that kind of stuff, y'all are all going to the same stuff. So I would, I would assume then those past relationships, knowing these guys for so long, it's made that transition, which in other years before the advent of the portal and freedom of movement would have been you know, a lot more awkward maybe. I mean, this has probably been pretty seamless for y'all. Yeah, it makes it so much easier. I mean, see, I, I played against Musa. I mean, for for years now, I played with Musa, played against Musa. So just being on his recruitment, it made it so much easier for for him to know me, me to know him, and I mean, really just so I could be honest with him and, and get his understanding where he wants to go, what he's feeling, and then obviously 
we got to that understanding, and he's a, he's a rebel now. All these dudes that you've known for a while that were considering Ole Miss, I mean, these are decorated transfers in the portal just like you were. What was the, the most consistent question you got, and, and kind of what did they want to know about Ole Miss and Chris Beard in this program? I mean, I, I would I, – man, my pitch to them was really – I mean, obviously, I never played for Coach Beer in my life um, before that. So I was telling them, I mean, it's a fresh start for me, just like it is for them. So I was just telling them everything uh, that I understood from Coach Beer, the words that I heard about Coach Beer, and, and just the tenacity that he comes with every single day that I've seen. Um, and really, just the, the big question was uh, we need to win. Mm. And, my thing was, man, we're we're building it right now. Um, join me and help me with this recruitment thing. Obviously, um, we didn't have any players coming back, so my pitch to Brandon when he was the first person to come here um, was let's build it, let's build it together. Um, obviously, Coach Beard um, he he brings what he brings, but he he allows players to play, and uh, you know he allows players to coach. So just having um, players like Brandon joined me. We were allowed to build this thing together. When you talked to Chris Beard, you're pretty much sold. What did he say? What was so convincing? He was so honest, and you could feel it in his heart. Hmm. Um, he just came here for one reason, and that was the win. I haven't won at Ole Miss since I've been here, and that's the thing that I know the city deserves, and that I know that athletics and basketball here deserves. So I'm just trying to change that culture. And I'm glad I'm a part of it. See, that's the thing, too, man. I mean, you've got those, like, old family stripes with, with Ole Miss, too. I mean, you've been around Ole Miss basketball. You know the history here. So it did matter to you then to win here because here this was a unique opportunity because Ole Miss is starved for that, for that kind of success. 100%. I mean, obviously, I've, I spent two years of my life here, had my family move here, um, and I've I've built relationships around the community and just knowing, seeing everybody – um, not satisfied with how our results been in the past and, and knowing how excited they would be if we turn this thing around. For you, what is the next step? What are you working on in, in particular? Because that's also a big part of this equation, too. You're, you're looking to continue your career at the next level. So for you, what did Beard say and what have you been working on to kind of get to that place? For sure, just continue to be aggressive. Um, obviously, that's, that's aggressive with uh, my mentality, my Defensive side of the ball, offensive side of the ball, obviously. Um, key thing for me was being able to make shots. Um, but everybody knows I can do that. Just continue to re- uh, rebound the ball and just guard the ball at a high level. And obviously winning and, and leading. What's the next step for Matt? Just winning, man. Matt, Matt does all the small things. Um, he's, so, he's such a great player, athletic player that can play off the ball, on the ball. Um, Matt just being a winner and continue to lead each and every day, which I've seen. Um, I know that he'll he'll be up in a great position. Matt's not even worried about the next level right now. He's worried about Ole Miss, and he's worried about winning. Now I'm going to ask you another one, Coach Brake. Tell me about the two young guards that are returning to and T.J. Caldwell, because he's had a good preseason, and Robert Coward, too. How can they help? What's the scout? Man, I, just coming back, I know they're hungry. Uh, obviously, Rob didn't get to play last year with with him redshirting. He got injured a a good bit, but he's coming back um, being more aggressive than ever. I mean, he plays so hard that it's hard to, to take him off the court and not play him. Um, he does all the small things. He rebounds, he makes open shots, and he rebounds the ball at a high clip. And then with TJ, he's so athletic that he can, he can really – my worries, TJ would be a defensive player of the year in the SEC before he leaves open. Oh, see, we went 13 minutes – and I've been trying to get him to say something juicy. And finally, he comes out about TJ saying defensive player of the year. Let's yeah, he'll be defensive player of the year before he leaves on this. What makes him so good? Is it the on-ball defense? Is it just the dog mentality when he's out there? I mean, what, what makes a good defender for Chris Beard, for TJ, for just if you want to defend here and you want to defend well, what makes you good? I mean, it's just being aggressive, um, obviously. And it's, it's knowing – that we can make our defense be our offense. And, and TJ, I mean, he he sees the game so well, and I think that's that's it more than anything, being able to make reads. Um, and, and his foot speed has been wonderful. Obviously, he's athletic going uh, vertical, but side to side he moves so well um, that I know and I've seen that he'll, he'll be decent to play the year before he moves. 
I love that. All right, one of the last ones. Uh, I'm not going to ask you because, first of all, you wouldn't tell me even if you knew, but we've been asking this to everybody, Chris Beard, all the assistants. I've done all these interviews. I'm not going to ask you. But I want to ask you from the perspective of a player, Moose and Brandon, uh, you know, just waiting for the NCAA to rule something, how tough has that been on them? And as teammates, what do you do to kind of, you know, keep their heads up and whatever? I mean, the uncertainty has got to be pretty crappy for all y'all. You wouldn't even know that they're going through that. They come here every day to work. Uh, whether Brandon's in, in scout, I mean, he's going hard. He's making us better each and every day. You want to know. Um, they continue to put the work in. They're not they're not pouting. They're just waiting on their turn. They know that the opportunity is going to come. And they're not even putting that in the side. They're not going to move around. They don't want us to, to think about that. And I, I'll tell you probably all 16 of us probably think that they're playing. And we don't even know. So we're not even worried about that. And, and they come each and every day ready to work. Murphy Holloway, my guy, I've been knowing him, oh, my God, 15 years. Have you put it on him yet, down low? Have you made him get in the block with you? Because he swears that none of y'all can stop him. Hey, he's a low, man. I'll tell you what. That's the big dude right there. Nah, but but Murphy, man, he, he sweats just like us every single day. Uh, it's been good seeing his energy. He comes comes to the generator to work. I just, he, has, he has kids kids and a, and a wife now, so just – him giving up here every single day after he's played so many years overseas and, and professional, it's just a blessing that we get to have his knowledge. Well, the funny thing about Murph, too, is you know he's going left, and we joke about it all the time, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Hey. He's an automatic bucket, and he's Jamin right. Brakefield, Ole Miss forward, senior old head of the Ole Miss basketball roster. Thank you so much for doing this, man. Good luck this year, and let's talk again. My man, appreciate you.